Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Christ. What's going down? Well, I'll tell you what isn't going down. What isn't going down? I'll tell you what's not going down. Oh no, this isn't a link to the... It is! I'm... This ain't oh. going down, but it will be soon. Oh! <laughs> hey, oh! we're back again! Back again. <laughs> Surprise! Back again. Uh, Can't leave them alone for two minutes and they mess everything up. I mean, come on! Oh. oh, what? Normally it's all preset. Normally there's nothing to do. Yeah, so. normally I do it all and get it ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Well, uh, Once again, I found. They've it. updated the software. There's all different menus. It's it's odd. It is odd. But you welcome need back. Update your brain, Mike. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so, uh, so, Dave, what? Dave will be downstairs uh, if we manage to give him a break, so that he can get on with all the hard work he does down there, uh, making uh, all of the brilliant props. Uh, but in the meantime, you're stuck with uh, Mike and myself, and uh, and no kombucha today. So sorry about that. If anyone's tuning in, they'll have to guess that. You have to guess what that is. That's that's the game. Yeah, I don't want to know. Uh, know. Right, okay, so let's go back to what we were <laughs> going to talk about first. So, yeah, you might. You we're might, all thrown. You, we're thrown. You've got to give us a minute. So, anyway, here's the new uh, Eugene Berger book is out. Um, we don't have that many copies left. Um, it is going quite fast. Um, but it's called Final Secrets, and obviously, you know, everyone knows uh, Eugene sadly passed away um, a short time ago, really. Um, when was it? Do you remember? It's probably in there somewhere. And it's a 2017. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, sorry, but I haven't had a chance to read it. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Actually, it's, it's looking like... There's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, again, it's one of those books that... Um, a bit like the old-fashioned um, coffin books that I was used to, where, uh, you know, less gloss, more content. Um, and I'm really excited about it. So, yeah, we shall be... Uh, I shall be reading it and getting through it. But it's got his... Um, Sympathetic cards, version of sympathetic cards in it, which I really like. So that's what my trick I shall be learning first of all. Brilliant. Um, do it next week. I could try and do it next week. Why not? On the live. Yes. Live. Yep. So, but his, so he he does it with um, no gimmicks, a gimmickless one. So uh, there you go. Um, lots of sections, interviews uh, with him and other people, and essays and uh, so on. Some of it has been republished before. Stop the press. What? Who was first? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Stop press, Robert Van Buren. Well, well, hang on, no, because Philly isn't meant to be first, is he? No, he's meant to be fifth. He's meant to be fifth. So let's just do the countdown. So first position we have Robert Van Buren. In second place we have John Middleton. In third place we have Major Tom. In fourth place we have we have oh, Frank Valenti. Oh! And in fifth place we have yeah, Finley, Finley Southgate. Southgate. He wins a prize. <laughs> I have to, we'll have to ask Dave, he's not here to, to tell us which prize he's won, but well done, Finley. That's super cool. How does he do it? I don't know. I mean, he must have, did he, has he bribed Frank Valenti and Robert Van Buren? In, in or he's got, got I'm, I'm, I'm definitely sure he's got some kind of like link oh, into it. He might, I reckon he's using their names. I reckon he's actually, all there. it is just uh, Finley joining us. Anyway. Uh, so, so here we go. So it's um, it's eighty eight pounds. Better. It's eighty eight pounds. Um, a lot of it's cards. Oh, um, a lot of it's mentalism stuff. Um, and it's very strong. He tends to sell a bit of a, a, a shaggy dog story with most of his tricks, but um, they are wonderful. Yes, um, eighty eight pounds and ninety nine p. There you go. So a good variety in there. Great stuff. Okay, Jim says hi. Or hey. Uh, Daniel Ricks, hi Daniel, uh, from across the pond, lovely to see you on uh, the Prop Dog Live, he actually made it, uh, not been able to for months, so welcome back buddy, um, Robert says hi to Alex and Mike, hello Robert, <laughs> and then we've got Benjamin and David, there's everybody saying hello, 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 is there anybody on here that would like to ask a question, if you do, put it on the comments, we'll try and get to it, yep, yeah, yeah. Uh, best time of day is Friday, the Prop Dog live show. Of course it is. Thank you, Robert. Um, and we go down to hellos, hello, lots of hellos. I'm just going through them. Andrew, uh, Adrian Tritton says Iron Brew. Nope. Nope. Wrong. Wrong! Uh, iced tea? Nope. Ooh. Okay, hello, hello. hello. Uh, audio book. Burger. No, there's no... Uh, no, it's not an audio book. It's, it's, it's got pages. 
It's got pages, definitely. Uh, Iron Brew, no, definitely. No, no Kevin no. says, I, Alex and Sully. Sully is my nickname, by the way, if you don't know. Uh, I'm going through all the eyes and iron brews. There's a lot of them. It's not iron brew. Uh, while I'm doing that, why don't you talk about something else? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about oh, iron? Oh, well, we'll talk about this, but you're the expert on this, aren't you? Mm. So Cognito, which is the app that has been out for a few weeks now that is taking the world by storm, I think. Everyone yeah. seems to be raving about it, including, obviously, the great Craig Petty, uh, the new internet influencer of the world of magic, um, who describes it as the most powerful app of the decade. Uh, what can you do? So you can peek and reveal anything. Places, names, star signs, absolutely anything. Uh, I mean, it's, it's good value for money. It's only twenty six ninety nine. It's not bad. And that's a good could, price for any it, app. That's a good price for any app. Plus, um, it, it works on a, on a method that's been out for a long time, but I'm not going to explain that. Uh, but watch the trailer because you'll see how it works. Um, I think it's not bad for twenty six ninety nine. I mean... You can't go wrong for an app that's... No, that sort I, of think, I think the important thing is, so it works on Apple and Android. Yep. It's very easy. It's very easy to and, develop. And you can tailor and, it. And you can customise it, which so, I think is why people are enjoying it so much. Because yeah. everyone can do their own little thing with it, and um, whether you want to do, you know, or you can integrate it into other tricks that you've sure. got. Um, so it's very flexible. So I think that is probably what they like about it. It's easy. It is. It, it is. is easy. And so, um, yeah, Kieran good. showed me it today, and yeah. I, 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 you know, I like it. I like the prints. We use the same kind of method for one of our tricks at D Trick, so right. it's uh, it is a great, it is a great little method, and it's electronic. It's you know, twenty first century. You've always got it on you. You've always got it on you. You have always got your phone on you. So yeah, great. Like Check that. out the trailer and, and make your own decisions. Yeah, and we obviously. can um, we can obviously email you the code first and then send you this afterwards. It's pretty useful. Oh, yeah, you've got to pay for it first though. Let's just oh yeah, yeah, pay for it. We'll send you the code. <laughs> then you can. <laughs> then you can uh, okay. I'll get it in the right order. Apple cider. No. No. Um, okay. But how much did you say it was? 26 dollars It's not right, it? 26 It's worth a punt, definitely. What's the hand on the shelf behind you? We get asked this every week. Get the hand. What, the this hand or that hand? No. Uh, this is a trophy it's that Dave, Dave made. It's actually Dave's hand um, with a palmed card. It's great. Uh, if you... Uh, a part of a club, you 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 know, you're an organizer and you want a trophy for your close up comp or your stage comp or anything like that, they're great for that. You can get them um, a, yep. a brass plaque pot on them as well. Most cobblers do that sort of thing nowadays. Key don't cutters, they? don't they? Key, key, key cutters do that as well. So, yeah, uh, if you're talking about this hand, this is the zombie hand which we talked about last week on the live. It's similar to uh. Um, the little bird and the little hand that we sell. Um, this is uh, and cat's paw that illusionists do. As cat's well. paw and uh, what's the one with the play doh? Franken doh. Franken doh. So yeah, that's that hand. If there is another hand that we can't see at the moment, then please let us know in the comments and we'll get back to that for you. Okay, Lucasaid. No. <sighs> Okay, come on, people. You got to can't, can't you get some I more? I think so. I think Simon Keane might have got it. If Simon Keane, if you go scroll back up. Did you miss one from Simon Keane? Simon Keane. Okay. This is called Dead Time, people. Uh, um. Uh. Uh. uh there's no. Oh no! Keep going. Let's keep going down then. Oh, you finally got. Yeah, finally got L Dimension, Tom. Uh, we'll come to that in a moment. No, no, it must be. Oh, for, mate, no, no, we, no, we, we, we must go. We're, we're going back. So to we'll the come beginning. to our Dimension. They're very interesting listening to that. Okay, yeah, it's dead time. This is not good for broadcast. Well, don't tell them that. They'll enjoy it. So. Okay, right, okay. So, not LucasAid. Hello, guys. My exam in two weeks for the circle. Very nervous. Oh. Adam, uh, best of luck, buddy. Uh, Any tips, Mike? Because you're... Do what you do. Right. Do what you do. Don't go in there trying to think that you can fall. It's not pen and Teller. Do what you can do. Um, and uh, you'll be comfortable... You know, everybody's nervous in front of their peers, but uh, you'll be comfortable in what you're doing and uh, less chance of uh, messing up. It's, that's the only advice I can really give. And we have to say big congratulations to Mr. Nigel Quinn. Nigel Quinn, yes, he did his exam and passed. So he's now a fully fledged member of the Magic Circle. Uh, and can uh, congratulations on, and also David Harry uh, who I don't think uh, well I don't know if you are watching David but congratulations too because I know you've now become a member of the Magic Circle as well so yeah. well done well done guys uh, Tizer we said that already haven't we no we haven't 
No. Oh. It's the winner. Oh, it's Tizer. So it's Simon winner. Keane is the winner, and so is uh, who was actually first, oh, Jim, Jim Sanderfield. Well, well done, Jim. Well done. Okay, so they both they both get. It. I love Tizer. It's got to be cold though. I know. Well, I it looks a bit flat. I'll be honest with you. Let's just come straight out of the can. I could be flat. But it looks flat. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Bureaucratize of Orange Aid. That's okay. like a, a. Yeah, next time. Yeah, maybe do it. Uh, you don't have any illusionist pocket portals on the site. Can I order a couple in through you? And how long will they take to come in? I'll have to look. We haven't done an illusionist order for a while, simply because we haven't needed anything. Uh, no. I, I'm not even sure. They're... I'll have to check to see if they've got them in stock and that they are wholesaling them to us. So pop us an email, David, and I'll get back to you. But yeah, in theory, the answer is yes. I'll um, just have to make sure uh, that they are wholesaling them and they've got them. Cool. Is it cognac? Oh, I he wish. wishes. Yeah. I wish. Uh, what close-up mat or surface do you recommend for coins across where the shell is slid over the coin? I find some surfaces the shell won't slide or it catches. I don't do uh, uh, any kind of mean? matrix stuff. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that's what it is. What well, close-up mat for coins across? But... So our, um, so just... our um, level one's good for that, isn't it? Or is it the velvet? Yeah, I think I've, I've, I've never really... Um, I've just used a normal velvet. Matt, I've never had a problem. I don't do it a lot. I haven't done it for years, um, not since I've worked here. Right. Um, but I'm assuming that would go. I just want a little bit of play to get the mat, to, to get the shell um, at an angle, and then it should slide over. So yes, and your... if you order um, a prop dog close-up pad, you can ask for extra flop. You can ask for extra, yeah, we can put extra pads in it to make it so a bit make softer. It, make it softer. Um, the shell won't slide or it catches. Oh, so you mean the shell sort of grips the, the cloth? Mm. I've never had that problem, to be honest. No, maybe you're, uh, maybe you're pushing down too hard. I can't give any advice on that because I, I don't think you're do not that pushing kind of too thing. hard, Ben. I don't think you should, you shouldn't you shouldn't scrape the cloth too much. Okay, cool. Uh, got cognito on release. It's great. With so much more to do, with a great Facebook group. Mm. There's another reason it, it has a Facebook following, which means that you can all sort of mm. uh, dive into one another's um, ideas. Yep. Hey guys, any chance that we can see the multiplying wine bottles professional by uh, Vincenzo Di Fatel? I think that's how you say it. Uh, does it look like real wine bottles? Alex is now. They do look like real wine bottles. This is um, actually quite a good set. Yeah. Um, uh, so let's get. Oh, it's in. There we go. Mm -hmm. But. Sim might want to buy this and you're messing up his bag. No. There you go. Okay, so yes. I mean, uh, from... I'm looking on the camera. That that looks great. It does look good, doesn't it? It does look good. It does look good. And uh, they are... It's a well-made prop. Can we... Can we... Can we... Can we... Can we... Lift, can we unnest them to show... Oh, them? <laughs> no, I don't. Put that give away. Shall I get... Do you want to, well, do you want to see? The, try, I'll try to get the smallest one. Yeah, yeah, get the smallest one and the largest one. We'll go from there. Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, Josh, I was expecting it to be an epic trick. Laugh out loud! It's just a trophy. Yep, just a trophy. That is exactly what it is. So there's, there's the smallest and the largest bottle. Now, obviously, if you're doing this on a, a table, uh, you can use the power of perception, and have them looking sort of similar sizes like that, or like that. It's a lovely prop. It's good. It's good. It's a lovely prop, and uh, yeah, I would recommend it. Yep, it's great. It's great. It's Fantastic. the best one I've seen for a long time. Um, apple vinegar. <laughs> no, we've done that. <laughs> we've done that. Okay, thanks, guys. Mike Max. Um, that's Andy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go with the jokes on the trophies now. That's Andy. Uh. Well done, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Apple vinegar. Um, can you recommend a zombie ball gimmick to go with the bubble routine? We only do. We do the Vernet and the Mr. Magic one, don't we? We don't we do, do another one. We um, don't do another one. Well, we do the uh, eloquent, oh, I can't remember the name, with the wine bottle, with the wine glass. Uh, Michael Lamar, Dirk Lissander. Exquisite. Exquisite. I knew it was something beginning with. Yeah, yeah. you're exquisite. Uh, which is uh, uh, a good one as if well. If you want to learn the zombie ball, I recommend uh, Tim Wright's um, DVD on the zombie ball. Brilliant. Brilliant. Very entertaining as well. Okay, Daniel says, Daniel Rick says, I have Cognito and at first I was not impressed by the trailers and dis, uh, descriptions. However, I've got it and there's so many more things that you that are not advertised and makes it a complete system with many possibilities. I like to say it's the best thing about the apps aren't even being advertised. Well, I mean, yep. that, that's go. a good thing for magicians straight away. Uh, uh, 
there's there's more there that uh, Daniel was written um, and just check it out guys it seems like it is a very popular app uh, we've only got a few left haven't we that's my sales talk yeah for, for that one yeah. but but we genuinely only have we've only out we've only out of everything uh, okay uh, so Jordan's written a song to to a, a piece of music I've done that yeah, okay. Nigel Quinn, Nigel Quinn does whatever Nigel Quinn can. Oh, well, yeah, Spider-Man, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. No, Swings from a web, well, probably because he's Nigel Quinn. Look out, he's a no, Nigel, Nigel Quinn. Quinn. That's yeah, the best you're going to get from yeah, us, definitely. Me thinks. It's Friday afternoon, for crying out loud, you know. Yes. It's, it's long. David Anderson says, awesome, thank you. Uh, you pleasure, buddy. Um, and more congratulations for Nigel. Any idea when Wild Dice will be back in stock? Uh... Mm. No, no. The, the supplies are out of stock. Uh, we're waiting for them. There isn't actually a date. In fact, what I could probably do is go and quickly have another look in a moment. Uh, they may have updated it, but um, yeah, no. But we'll get them in as soon as we can. Uh, okay, Adam Evans says, to perform a shell matrix, the lever on the back is perfect for the prop dog pad. So, okay. so all our pads come with uh, different types of backing. This is the lever. Uh, and he's saying that this is the ideal uh, uh, ideal surface for it. So check it out. Um, happy Poets. Happy Poets, says Charlie. Uh, I don't know what that means. I get lost in translation sometimes with this, well, it's one of that, with this sort of stuff. It's an army thing. It's an army thing, is it? Oh, okay. Uh, John says, hi. Uh, what is that for? What's what? What's what for? What's you need <laughs> put some of these questions into context, guys, because it makes it easier for for you know me. I'm I'm old and this is all new stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly, a new Toro bottles look like the real thing. Best bottles I've seen are Japanese, but they're about three k a yeah, set. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Well, the new the Toro bottles were the best. Um, I think they are as good. Um, but the Toro bottles seem to be out of stock just about everywhere. Um, but they did come in a nice range as well, so you can choose from different wine labels and so on. But yeah, Colin Peters is on. He said, "Hi, Colin. Hi, God. How are you, fella? Uh, got a hold of a set of the bottles last year. They're brilliant. They have a lip unlike the cheaper versions. Yep, it does make a difference actually. Uh, I'm on the Cognito trailer. Says Jordan. Well done, buddy. <laughs> uh, uh, Julio says, "Good morning. Good morning." Um, and your reaction was genuine, which is awesome. Reaction. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Uh, right, okay. Thanks for sending out my order today. Quick work, guys. That's what I love about Prop Dog. So that's from Andy Tingley. Pleasure, mate. I mean, that's that's what we're here for, and that's what we do. When are you guys going to have some more small Trevor Duffy mats in stock? Again, um, they're out of stock at the supplies. As soon as they come in, we will get them. Uh, uh, Pay off. <laughs> Pee off early tomorrow, Saturday. That's what poets means. There you go. That's going to be him. Uh, suggestions for tricks to do with puppets. Well, any trick that can be done one-handed. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, much it. I suppose that is true. Uh, you kind of wanted to choose something, don't you? Or you want a bit of comedy in there as well? I'm oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. The puppet can do stuff like mess the, try and mess the trick up or, or something like that. I mean, we've got some great uh, kids' magic that... Um, I'm assuming if you're using a puppet that you're doing some kind of kids show uh, that uses um, wands to do the work. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there's, yeah. There's, um, oh, Bill Abbott's got Chico the monkey. Chico, the, Chico monkey. Chico the mind reader, which is very popular. A lot of um, a lot of top people use that one. I think we've got the DVD. Now here's somewhere. a little here's a little secret for you. Um, a lot of people think that you buy Chico the monkey it's a, it's, it's a, a set that you can buy from Bill and, and I suggest that you do that because it's great but he also bought out a DVD he did that's what I'm saying. and he explains it yeah yeah so I was going to go and grab it yeah yeah because it's a lot cheaper than buying the set yep in fact we have two copies left and it's great um, and it's called Bill Ad Abbott, Abbott performs magic for kids and it includes the whole Chico. Um, the monkey. You can buy. You monkeys. can buy the exact puppet from America. Yes, yeah. I think it's. Is it fact, 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 I can't remember the name of the company. Don't know. Filtrate it's all it, written on. It's all yeah, in yeah. there, isn't it? So yeah. you can actually get the exact puppet and everything. But it does cost quite a lot all to put together, and it's a bit of pain. But you're probably better off buying. Yeah, it. you're better off buying if it. If that's from... the return you want to do, buy it from Bill because it, otherwise you waste your time. It really, it's not worth it. But um, yeah, 
Leon. Cool. Uh, okay, so, uh, so yeah, um, it was a good segue into triple prediction. Was it? Well, because it, you could do that one-handed. You could do that one-handed. So why don't you show some magic, Mr. Oh, Alex? this is brilliant. There is, well, well it's, it's called triple prediction, and there is a prediction. All right. That is the prediction there. Okay. And what we do, Mark, I'm going to ask you to select some cards. Okay. So here we go. So, uh, uh, Harvey, watch this one. Select cards. So, so you can is have that a, a regular deck of cards? It is a regular deck I'm of cards. I'm going to ask all those I'm awkward not gonna, I'm questions. Not gonna, I'm not going to quite be able to, to fan them as smoothly. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that I fan Can I shuffle it. them? You can shuffle them, Mike. Okay. Gonna, gonna I like them. this. So I, I'm going to shuffle them like that. I was going to try and do a Hindu shuffle, but they are a bit big. Okay, so uh, I'm happy. Right then. Come on then. Come on then. Come okay, on here come we on go. My, my monkey puppet. Right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to deal the cards down. Like so, you just, so the puppet could be dealing the cards down, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, or just being a pain or throwing oh, around. Yeah, yeah. Wants to do. Yeah. Uh, just so stop revving. I'm going to do this three times, so please bear in oh, mind. Uh, okay. Don't uh, take me right to the last two cards. Okay, how long have we got? Oh, 30 minutes. Stop. <laughs> this one or this one? Uh, that one. Are you sure? Uh, yep. I don't need to go home and go, no, no, what no. if I chose the other card? No, just do it. All right, just do it. You're wasting time now. Go. For four minutes. Okay. Oh, oh we're doing See, another one, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, stop. Another one. This one or this one? Uh, that one. You sure? Yeah. Free choice. Yeah. Completely free choice this okay. time. No, I'm, not even, I'm not even looking. Go on. Okay. Say stop whatever you like. Okay. okay. Keep going. I don't trust you. As far as I can... Uh, stop. You sure? Yeah, but I want that one. Okay, so yeah, that was fair. I, I chose them. Fair. Because I have to chose yeah, them. Yeah, 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 okay. Here is my prediction. Right. Mark, uh, would you like to take off the prediction? Oh, I take it off. You can take off the prediction, Mark. Are you oh, sure so, about oh, well, it? No, 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 oh, no. no. Wait, let me look and see what's in there. Oh, oh, yeah, right, all right, all right, all right, 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 right. Okay, I told you I was going to be uh, a bit of a pain. Yeah, it's been a bit of a pain. What do I need to do? Read this. You need to read it, Mike. Okay, I need to read this. Okay. Dear Mike, last night I had a dream. And and you was in it. Don't go, don't go there. Don't go there. Skip that. Skip the next line. Okay. <laughs> you picked three jumbo cards. I did. They were the six of clubs, the eight of hearts, and the queen of diamonds. I got this. They were <laughs> the queen of diamonds, the eight of hearts, and the six of clubs. Yes. Brilliant. It's amazing. It's amazing. Fantastic, that's really good. I like that. I like it too. And, and this can be, well, it can be done. Um, it can be done with uh, one hand. It can be done with one hand, it can be done with a puppet. It can be done with a puppet, because everything's in the stand. It's groovy, it's groovy. It's great, I really no, like I like it. it, I like it, I like it. And it is very um, clean. Yeah, it is very clean. Um, I'm tempted. So there you go. There you go, Harvey. There's, there's a suggestion for uh, a trick. Uh, it's a prediction trick. And I suppose you could write what you like on... You can write what you like. It's a prediction. You don't even need to use cards. I thought you could use postcards, holiday destinations, um, anything wow. you like. Yep. You can decorate that cool. board to look whatever you like. Uh, um, yep. Adam says, Alex, I, uh, I'm off to Liverpool Saturday with the wife. Alex, can you bring your boat and give us a ride? Well, to Liverpool? I don't think you can even get to Liverpool, can you? I, I, can't, get, I can't get off my mooring at the moment. Uh, my engine doesn't work, Adam, but otherwise, <laughs> otherwise it would be a pleasure. <laughs> Magic cuckoo. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. Don't okay. Know. Hi, guys. Any luck on bonds and lopes? I'm afraid not, buddy. Uh, we're still waiting. Uh, uh, Raj has asked if we... Uh, have any luck? Um, we're no, just waiting. We're chasing them up. We're so. chasing them every single day. Dave's chasing them probably every half an hour. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's more frustrating for us than it is for for, for you. I, I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve, um, first time I've seen you live. Is that me? Is that you? Or is that the whole? The whole thing. The whole. Well, thing? welcome. Well, welcome, welcome, Steve. Welcome. Uh, Kevin King, do you have any Halloween show? Did you have any Halloween shows, gentlemen? Not magic related, but I like uh, in the UK you say fancy dress, and here in the U US we say costumes. Well, well we sell we, do we costumes sell costumes, well, yeah. but costumes are less. Uh, so we're going to a fancy dress party. What costume did you get? Yeah, that, I mean that's what we would normally say. Uh, did I do any Halloween shows? Uh, I, I did some. I did a, a show uh, at the weekend, but it wasn't Halloween. Based. It was a party, and uh, they tried to avoid Halloween like the plague. But there you go. Did you do any? No. And there's no, no. your answer. <laughs> okay. no, I can't remember what I was doing for Halloween. I can't remember. 
but anyway. Well, you weren't here on Saturday. I wasn't here, so I don't know what I was doing. He was, he was away. It was the end of your... What's that? Oh, was it? Yeah, I was away. Yeah, I was yeah, away. Sure. Uh, Ken says, uh, Chico is awesome. And, and folk mantis puppies from the monkey puppy. That's it. Folk the, man. There you go. Folk man. Folkman. Folkmans. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Nigel says, much love, chaps. Do check out Dimension L. Well, we actually have, and we can segue into that. We have it is here. Yeah. This is it. It's a lovely box. It is, of course, in quite a, people, people notice this box when they come into the shop. Uh, well, it's big Tom, Tom, and Tom, red. Thomas Cocker has got one. Nigel Quinn's obviously got one and played with it. Um, it is... Um, We'd like to know your comments, guys, on how you get on with it. I mean, um, we can't really show you what it is. Uh, we would su suggest that they check out the trailer. Yep. Um... um yeah, well, Nigel, Nigel likes it. Nigel used it. Nigel likes it. It does have its limitations with uh, and Nigel might correct me this, but yeah, lighting, what you're wearing, that sort of thing. Um, but in the right setting, in the right setting, in the right at the right time, yeah. in the right place, it would be awesome. Yeah. So it's not it's certainly not a close-up trick, but if you watch the trailer, no, you'll there. see what it does. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's a it's a it's a floating light uh, with other you know other things you can do with it. There's a lot in there's quite a lot in that, but a lot of instructions. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a great, um, great thing. And how much uh, is it, Mike? That is a hundred and ninety-nine ninety-nine. So a penny off a hundred quid. So yeah, there you go. So it's it's a, not cheap. It's not cheap, but you do get a lot for your bucks. Yeah, and I think so. that's, uh, Nigel, is that you using it in your um in your avatar? Is that you using it, Nigel? That that looks like it might be it. So yeah, but yeah, it has been, yeah they had a lot of lot of um lot of comments about it. So especially the box, especially the box, it's especially the box. The box. I think I think maybe people think it's got chocolates in it. I think that's probably it. They, it does look like a chocolate. yeah, it does look like a chocolate box. Um, Jordan says I did Joshua Jay's Inferno with a dog puppet once for the family show. And it had a small bone shaped collar with a folded card in, oh. and I just did a fake take type action when I retrieved it and it went down very nice well. Nice idea. There you go, there it's you a go. great idea. So, yeah, I mean, this, this stuff, you, you can make it your own. Uh, so, Ken has put in a link for the puppet. Obviously, uh, I do, you know, do stress you need to buy the DVD. Before you buy the puppy, well, all the tips are on there, and everything. Uh, and everything's there. on there, and and you know, Bill, Bill's a great friend, so uh, lots of support for this guy. Uh, Charlie says, "Do you stock dice that are missing a number?" We do. Uh, Diamond Jim Tyler. Yep, forcing dice. Yes, yeah, forcing dice. And you can choose which number you want. You can. Or you can, or you can have a whole set. Indeed, which is even better still. Uh, Stacy uh, is waving her hands. <laughs> uh, okay, is that trick self working? Yeah, uh, the stand does it all. The what? The trick. Oh, yes, sorry. Yes, the stand does it all. Uh, Not dimension, no. Uh, Walter, Walter's on. He says it looks like a sweet box. It does. We, it, we were saying saying yeah. that earlier. Uh, do you need a small hand to use it? See, it's context, guys. We need, you know, the trick. Da, 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 da. Does it need a small hand to use it? Would be a lot easier for us because we go through so many... I can't many... think of anything we've talked about that does require a small hand. <laughs> no, no. I produced candy from a fire dove pan 5,000 times Halloween night during a trick or treat. 5,000 times. Wow. I'm surprised the dove pan mm. still works. Uh, I, Alex and Mike, uh, have you seen Selfie Catch from Gustavo Rally? Uh, no, I haven't. No. Uh, we'll have a look at it, though. We'll have a look um, after the show. And, uh, yeah, we... Well, we tend, we tend to get... You know, one or two in of most things. So, um, yeah, we'll probably have it at some point. Uh, Chris says, uh, watch your gents. Uh, missed the start of the show. I hope days well. You haven't missed much, buddy. <laughs> well, you missed quite a few starts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, uh. <laughs> right, okay. You're uh, pointing to me. What? You're pointing to me. No. Do you sell jumbo dice for a chop cup? We used to no, sell... No, no. Um, I, we, I know what you mean. Um, there's, a, there's a shop called Tiger. Have you Flying Tiger. No, just Tiger. I thought it was called Flying Tiger, the Copenhagen thing with all the, yeah, all the toys. Yeah, yeah, okay, I thought it was just called Tiger. Maybe that's maybe. Uh, they sell uh, jumbo dice. Unless it's got to be chopped. Uh, unless you want it chopped, then, then you'd have to buy a magnetic dice. Yep. And then a normal dice as well, but we don't do them jumbo, I'm afraid. Uh, Ken says, yes, Bill Abbott is fantastic, and anything he puts out is worth your consideration. Mm. Yeah, we, we, uh, we've got 
a couple of bits of uh, Bill stuff, haven't we, over the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, I thought, yeah. And uh, it's great. Uh, right, Tom says, not sure if my comment came through or if I missed it, but could you show me how to put the magnetic tip of an impression pad in a new Sharpie, please? Uh, we can't show you on the live. Um, it's pretty much how you imagine. Um, basically, I believe, uh, I haven't done it myself, but from what I understand is uh, drill a small hole in the end of the Sharpie, stick the magnet in and close it up again, carefully rolling it around so you don't, you, what you don't want to do is split the nib. That's the trick. So you can't just jam something in. I think there's a trick to making the hole and sliding it in with some patience. Um, if you have any problems, um, I'll ask Dave uh, for some more details and I'll pass them on to you, Tom. Yep. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, Stacy says, do we have any recommendations for Christmas themed close up? Oh, we do have a Christmas deck of cards. Um, Christmas themed close up. Christmas themed close up. No, I don't think nothing. Uh, my no. head. Nothing's, nothing. Certainly, nothing's news come out to a Christmas thing. Do they do? I think they do a Christmas um, socks. Don't they? Like they do Halloween socks. The socks by Michelle. Yes. Heliot. They uh, do a Christmas yep, version that of that. That can be done close up. Um, the any mini. But the minimals. But, yeah, that's great. I mean, for Christmas, you could sort of like call it a reindeer. You could do. <laughs> Rather than a dog. I'd yeah, it tends to be honest, it tends to be more, not even the stage stuff, the children's stuff gets themed. There aren't, there, the people don't yeah. seem to theme for adults quite so much. Uh, so Nigel's been working on Dimension L for yeah. a few weeks. Uh, great visual effects. So That's great. Did Hook, uh, Jordan says, came oh, over yes. uh, quite a lot in Halloween, came over very interesting reactions. I used to have a thing for, when I did uh, Hook a couple of times, I used to have a blood capsule in my mouth. And when they tugged, I would go, no, 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 and then this little trickle of blood. I can imagine. It was great. It was great. Uh, so, what else have we got? Um, I'm going to go for it. Christmas Pud Goshman Balls. Oh. Do you know what? That would be right yes. up Miller Street. That would be right up Miller Street. Uh, we can, um, we can, uh, we'll talk about that yep. on there. Andy Tingley says, can't find 3D prediction. Triple. It's called Triple predi Prediction. Um Sorry? So Dave's shouting at us for something. I'll find out. Oh, they've done them. Christmas puds. They've done them. They've done them. Ah, they've so done them. So we food. can do them. Um, and uh, if you need to get your Christmas pud sponge balls for Christmas, just pop us an email and we'll get it to Mila ASAP. Uh, speaking of truck cups, I recently got Axel Heckler's Just a Cup. It's a great trick. That is good. I'm, I haven't actually... Dave's coming now. He's, he's going to say... Christmas balls. I, I know I'm on a bit of a time... I know I'm on a time delay, but you just want my Christmas pud balls. Yeah. Mila already does them. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've already we've yeah, already yeah. asked them to yeah. send in an email. Magnetic Sharpie, you're right. You have to drill a hole in and put the magnet in. It's as simple as that. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> he's watching, yeah. You're watching this? <laughs> um, says, yes. You could be watching something much better, like Netflix or well, something. I'm, 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 <laughs> what's funny is I can hear me working down doing all the kids. <laughs> I'm here. So, uh, Mel's watching as well. Oh, cool. Hi, Hi Mel. Hi, Mel. Uh, hey, guys. It's been quite a while since I managed to catch the live. How are you? Nicholas, we are absolutely fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> we, are. we are. Adam. Adam Wilbur. Hello, buddy. How are you? Uh, Hook is amazing, but scares the hell out of me. It, do you know what? Do you know what? It, it, it does look bad, doesn't it? It does, yeah. The hook looks very scary. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's um, great it's a triple hook. It's, it's not a... something I would do on a regular basis. I'm sure there are people out there that will. But it was safe. I mean, I did it, yeah. That is safe. I've done it the once. But because I'm I, I'm mainly a com comedy yeah. magician, it's very hard to play it for laughs because, obviously, everyone's quite tense. They can't, they're not quite sure whether they should be laughing or actually being really worried uh, for but, me. But so something's going to happen. Yeah. And those so, hooks, uh, Dave and I, when we go fishing, use them. For real, yeah. if we do pipe fishing or something like that, and they are dangerous. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, they you have to go to hospital if you get them caught because they're barbed. Um, yeah. Talking yeah. of talking of scary stuff, though, um, the uh, world's dangerous, world's most dangerous, dangerous. car trick. I mean, that again um, with the looks really scary. Oh, could you do it with the puppet? You, you could the... do it with a puppet. You could risk the puppet's life. Could risk the puppet. What well, its arm? Yeah, which is your arm. Oh, which is yeah, your arm. Yeah, yeah, so that, okay. is, that is quite funny, isn't it? Because you're risking your own hand. As a puppet. That's brilliant, there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is, is um, it called a paradox? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Shall I bring it over? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you don't know the world's uh, most dangerous card trick, it is one of those things that absolutely looks like, looks like you could lose your fingers. 
Um, and actually, it's very safe. Um, and also, you've got a few convincers, so it'll, you know, it'll snap up some spaghetti or pop a balloon, that sort of thing. Yeah, um, you put carrot in it. Yeah. Uh, it's a bear trap. It, it looks absolutely horrendous, but it's completely 100% safe. Um, so, yeah. I haven't, I haven't set these up for a long time. I'll leave that to you. Okay. Uh, XD is 100% safe, dude, and oh, I get what you mean. So, yeah, Jordan has exactly said what I've said uh, to, to Adam. It is 100% safe. Uh, it does look really, really scary. Uh, Roger says, sorry I'm late. Hi, all. Uh, got a note, Roger? If you have, can you email it over? Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> uh, Stacy says, thanks for your appearance, Dave. <laughs> he can't hear me, he's doing no. stuff downstairs. Uh, strangest trick of the year, the Lincoln Onion Ring. Oh, we've heard about this, haven't we? Have you I saw it. This? I mean, I'd, you know, maybe I, think, use I the prism get light. it in. Maybe we should have got one in just for a giggle. Uh, I, I mean, why, why, why? Why have you set that like that for that? I've got to put your finger in it. No, I'm not doing that. Well, I haven't got a puppet. You were my puppet earlier. No. <laughs> uh, the strangest trick of the year. Uh, right, we've done that. Use prism light uh, for strolling Christmas. It's not a bad idea, especially if you use the one no, that's yeah. multi, uh, multi-coloured. Um, I don't know, I'm going to set this off now, then. Go on, do it. There you go. You right. nearly got caught. No, it's completely safe, guys. Um, right. Uh, oh, by the way, if you do get injured because you bought one of these, it's not our fault. <laughs> um, Jordan says uh, uh, he's done the hook eight out of ten times when strolling nice. and it depends on the audience yep. yeah i mean that's another great piece of advice know your audience before you start performing certain magic tricks uh, along with the human blockhead oh is that the that's the nail in there <sighs> no see i yeah, can't that's... do that uh, adam adam wilber says great idea oh yes the trap with the puppet what? what oh he's gonna do it you can't turn around and say it's safe as houses and then not doing it with no, it no, I, I just wanted them to think they it was need, they need to know it's safe as houses well just tell them it's safe as houses because safe. you're gonna get your hand <laughs> go on then yeah. Yeah. Ah! Okay. safe as houses it's great it's a great great effect do you want, do you want to, should we show them how it works with the routine is okay. yeah uh, see you can't stay away so the routine, a, a short, simple version of the routine. Let me get some cards. Yeah. Got some. I don't know they're They might be blank faces or something. It doesn't matter if blank faces. Oh, right. okay. okay. yeah. so. so just so they can see what we're doing here. Uh, let's see, it's genuine. Take a card. Tap in. Who you want. Uh, we'll go for one with Sign your name. Oh, no, you can't use them. Well, they, they are definitely gimme. So what's this? Uh, yeah. Use them. Yep. No, nope, it's all right, got it. Right, uh, yeah. let's take one with a bit of white space on it, and we'll go Mike. There we go, thank you very much. So stop anywhere I like. Stop yeah, anywhere I like. Really matter. Perfect, now I'm going to try to find your card yep. uh, in the most dangerous way possible. Uh, I'm going to put the pack just there like that. I mean, there's a much longer routine, but oh, you are easy way. Here, Here we, we go. go. One, two. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I got, I got the card, but I, I didn't press it down. So you, as you go down, press it up and then go off. Oh, yeah. There you go. Bit more practice. Obviously, yeah. don't keep your hands in there, and then. Look at the mess you're making. Look, come oh, on, no. swap it out. Right. Go back. I got work to do. Yeah. It does come. It does come with Mario's. Uh, Mario talks quite a lot about the trap on the on the DVD and stuff and the, yeah. his routine. I, I've been watching a lot of uh, Adam's stuff, his penguin lecture and stuff, and uh, I, I was just thinking this will be great for your virtual show, buddy. Um, straight in there, it's a bit of uh, terror. Uh, what do we got? Onion rings looks crap, says Walter. I, I haven't seen them, I've heard about them, but I haven't seen them. Uh, any favorite effects or resources for the Jardinier Ellis ring, says Benjamin? Uh, I, oh. I don't, I don't, I know the effects, I just, I've never done it. I don't know, I'm just wondering whether did John, did John Derris ever do it? Someone uh, like that, in one of those sort of, um, uh, older legends, old of the legends books who used to do it. So, sort of the sort of John yeah. Darius, Jack Avis kind of era, there was probably lots of stuff. So, one of those books, I imagine, but without looking up, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Jonas says the now up the nose trick won't impress anyone post COVID. 
<laughs> no, because no, we can all do it. We all stick these things up our nose, don't we? Uh, he's got a point. He's got a point. Uh, and oh, we're at the last comment. That's, hey. that's quite good. Uh, what are you guys? What is your guys' favourite trick for strolling table gigs? You go first. I like. I've, I've temporarily forgotten the name of it now. Um, some, I whack the pack. Um, the Paul Harris routine. What that one? No. So so yeah. So you you you. you you put a card, and then when it's their card, they've got to slam their hand on it. Oh, right. But you, okay. And then you reveal that, I tend to reveal that it's actually, but they were so slow, that I managed to get the card out from their hand and posted it to myself and pull it out of my wallet with a, in the stamp right. address. Okay, and like, where's that? Art of Astonishment? It is in, yes, in one of the Art of Astonishments. It's also on one of his DVDs. Okay, cool. Okay. Always reference. Yeah. Because the guys want to know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait back, And we sell, we sell. Oh, we sell, we do sell them. Yep. They're, they're actually, they're <laughs> a bargain. They're a bargain. They're only like 30 something pounds. There's so much in, in them. Yeah, they're amazing. They're great amazing. selling books. Um, my favourite trick mm, must be the closer that I use and that is Phil Plus. Um, I was very annoyed when Dave uh, talked about this on the, on, on the live. Yeah, um, well. It's been my staple for as long as Dave's been doing it and uh, it, it just kills you can't you can't there's nothing that can uh you know follow it it's it's one of those darren brown moments you know yeah it's good and especially with the with the mm. two two phases okay uh oh, now we've got moxie we've talked far too long we've got waffles. more more things uh okay walter thanks for my last order it arrived exactly two weeks after i made it fantastic uh, Andy Tingley says, are you getting in flat and what do you reckon on it? We will get it in, I don't know, because only, we've only got the trailer to, to go, go with. By. So yeah. we're almost as in the dark as you, um, at least until, so we will get, um, we might be able to watch more details of it when they've got the whole, they send, they sometimes they provide the dealer information, but they haven't done that yet. It's still on pre-order, so okay, cool. we will get it in. So another great segue. So you guys, you're, you're, you're handing me these segues. It's brilliant. Um, Andrew Lewis says, hi, Alex and Mike, apart from the new Eugene Burger book, any good reads at the moment? Are you talking about If an Octopus Could Palm? Version two. Version two. There yeah. you go. Um, so back in the day when um, uh, Dan and Dave were young nippers, I don't know how old they are now, but... <laughs> still young to me. <laughs> still young, they're still younger than us. Um, so they, the Buck Twins uh, made a book called um, If Not Just Good Palm, all about palming techniques, you'll be surprised to hear. Um, just about everything's probably covered in there. Um, they added an extra bit. Added an extra bit. Um, very sought after the original, oh, I was going for hundreds of pounds. Um, so they've re-released it um, on the 10th anniversary, so they're 10 years older than when they were then. So Yeah, yeah. Probably... Uh, the price is... D d d d Forty-eight ninety-nine. Well, there you go. So, if you want to practice your palmy, learn some new palmy techniques. Um, That's the book to get. Actually, yeah, David Davies was in um, was in earlier in the week. Yeah, he was showing me various different palms and when to use, you know, when it's most appropriate to use one rather than the other, um, and how to cover them up. So that's cool. covered in here. Um, yeah, very nice book. Thank you, Andrew, for that segue. That's great. Bit of an awkward uh, size, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to have one of those IKEA bookshelves, yeah. don't you? Uh, Stacy says, uh, "Why is there a shortage of mouth coils?" Uh, there's only at a the moment. There's only a shortage of our prop dog mouth coils, I yeah. believe. I think we've got the uh, Bizarre Dimaggio ones, the uh, Vincenzo yeah. Fatter ones, yep. and if we have another one, then we've got, we've got some pink ones in. Yep, yep. So it's just the, so basically, yeah, we've run out of the prop dog uh, cheap mouth coils. Uh, Chris Watt says, happy, happy Friday, prop doggers, sorry I'm late, it's ah, okay sorry, buddy, as I said, um, if you've got a note, it's all good. Uh, Stan Airy says, hi guys, I stand, Delilah is a joy, Delilah came, uh, Stan and uh, his lovely wife, um, they grow dogs. <laughs> they grow dogs, <laughs> they grow dogs. Uh, like Aki they... and Delilah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Adam says, how much is the trap trick and what's its actual name? I actually dig that idea. It is called, See, the, I knew, world's, I knew. It's called the World's Most Dangerous Card Trick. And uh, it's by Maria Morris and I don't know how much it is. I'll go and find out. You carry on. How's your puppies, Mel and Mike? Well, I'll find you like I said, uh, all right, I'll you do You talk that. about your puppies. So uh, Delilah is coming on in leaps and bounds. Uh, she's fantastic. Uh, 
uh, when they're all here, and that's usually at least once or twice a week, it's, it's pandemonium. Um, you've got Sid running about, you've got Delilah running after Sid, and then you've got Aki sort of like trying to keep them all in check, which is great. But she can ring a bell now, she can sit, she can stay. Uh, her recall is fantastic with the help of Dave. Uh, brilliant. Uh, I would have brought her today, but um, I wasn't able to. Uh, but next, 80, uh, next Friday, next Friday. It's £85, Adam. £85. Um, Jordan. Just wanted to say Shadow Wallet is epic, best magic wallet I've ever, uh, best magic wallet ever. The index system alone is worth the price of anyone who has it. DM me for a killer kick oh, right. to Good add idea. at the end. Jordan, thank you for offering um, ideas. That's what this yeah. magic community is all about. Getting different ideas on on things that we all share. Uh, Nigel says flat is good value for money in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, great tutorial from Magic Cat. Sure it is. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen it. So we, we haven't seen it. We're still in the dark. Right? And we're, we're at the on. end of all the right. comments. Well, we're right. So we need to we need to show something else. This is fantastic. Hey ho, oh. hey ho, Miranda has a new release out in conjunction. I will mention it's in conjunction with Alakazam and um, Mozik. 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 Um, it is. John Rock. Yeah, don't flash the password. <laughs> Again. Again. It's a Sharpie. It's a Sharpie. It's a it, Sharpie. There you go. It's a Sharpie. How much is this Sharpie? This Sharpie is. Uh, 173 pounds and 99 pence of your earth pounds. But there you go. So, but it, it does come with some routine ideas. So you've got the whole witch hand thing. You've got smash and stab. You've got uh, detection. De yeah. So detections and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, if you watch the trailer, you'll get the idea. Um, it's it's, it's, it's it, it, it's it's a detection device in a Sharpie. Yeah. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, and uh, if that's the sort of thing that you want, uh, smash and stab, it'll be great for. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so there's not much else we can say about it, is there really? Well, you said that you've actually got to, the, the, you looked at. In, I, I looked in the box, yeah. In the box, and there's a little bit of, well, it's not arts and crafts, is it? But <laughs> no, no. Well, you've got to put the thing together, and I can understand why they took it out, because you've got to, uh, you know, there's recharging to be done and stuff like right. that. So, um, it, it, it's a, probably a good thing to do, because if you know how to put it together, you know how to take it apart. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So yep. I think that's why they've done it. And obviously it comes with all the instructions on video. So, um, And uh, yeah, and uh, Shao Miranda is, I mean, he's one of the most reputable electronics. Yeah, great quality and props. And, so great quality props. And he also is very good at looking after. The, his after sales service is really good. So um, I wouldn't worry about any of it from that sort of side um, at all. Um, so yeah, great stuff. Wanna, I mean, this is detection advice. That's not detection. That's not, that's not too cheap. That's not too expensive. It's no. about in the right ballpark, isn't it? So, mm. yeah, so if you want it hidden in plain I mean, sight. I mean, you've got uh, other detections. Well, the other right? ones, though, uh, the other ones. Six Cents, uh, Flux. Yeah, but Flux, I've never, I mean, it's a bit like, yeah, I'm not, not that keen on Flux. Six Cents is sort of hidden completely. Mm. Um, and this sort of hides in plain sight. Oh, so and the Sharpie works. And the Sharpie works. And the Sharpie works, so you can use it as a Sharpie. And yep. I don't think that the props, or the gubbins, if you like, are uh, uh, particularly that e heavy that people will go, oh, this no, heavy. No, I don't think so. No, look, I mean, it does look like a normal Sharpie. Well, you, you thought this was the Sharpie, didn't you? you <laughs> well, yeah, I nearly, I nearly put that in there. Um, but. So, yeah, so if you want something that hides in plain sight, that's probably, that can be easier than having any sort of dress requirements or anything else that you might have. Um, and also, it's in play right away, so you don't have to go to your pocket to put it on or activate it. So, yeah, there you go. So, it's like Great different stuff. <laughs> so, Nigel has been on uh, Flying Tiger looking oh. for um, big dice and he's come across a collection of finger puppets and he's put on the link for us all. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> Nigel, that is fantastic. Uh, Jordan, Tequila Hustler, which is the best? Which hand effect? It's uh, the best, it's the yeah. best which hand. Oh, okay, yeah, no, right, yeah. Okay, I'm, it's funny enough, I wasn't that keen on uh, Tequila Hustler and then Mark Elston has his um, L3 done which has got a tequila hustler effect on it, which is a bargain. It's got it's got three effects on it, which are easily worth thirty quid each. Mm. Um, and it's an absolute bargain. Um, so look up it's Elston. It looks like Elston. E L three D O N. Um, 
Brilliant, brilliant thing to buy. I mean, you know, if you, if you want three tricks, you can use straight out of the box that are powerful. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, and he's got Tequila Hustler, and it was the one I was like, oh, well, at least I'll use the other two. And then I watched it, and it's a version of Tequila Hustler, and um, I cool. thought, oh, actually, much better. Much better than, you know, what I originally read. There you go, check it out. You liked the book, didn't you? What was the book? There was a book all about Tequila Hustler with Michael Murray and... Um, uh, Trojan. Trojan Horse. Trojan Horse, yes, great. Which has got a lot of variety in it um, as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He, he did it on me when he was in, sort of like, when he was working it before the book came out, and I was completely fooled. It was brilliant. Yeah. Okay, there you go. It was brilliant. So, check that out as well. Um, okay, Charlie says, what is the range of the mental bell? Uh, a few metres, I would imagine. It's quite, it's, um, I don't know how We far haven't got one, have we? No, we haven't got one charged up. I don't know how far we've ever, we've ever done it. We've never done for, for range. I do know that if you have two, they operate independently so wow. you could so you could you could have five people each with a bell and you could you could make do, do, you, you yeah. know you could operate them independently so um you could have a lot of fun uh, uh expensive obviously but you could do it so georgian has just highlighted that obviously tequila hustler is uh, completely, completely impromptu and gimmickless well indeed it is that is true indeed that is, is very true um the one thing i found with a sort of tequila hustler-esque type effects is that um you shouldn't do it more than two or three times because they start to do things that may hinder you. Do they? They mess about, do they? Mm, yeah. I mean, right, okay. you know, interesting. So, so uh, that may be me. I may be doing it wrong. I'm not perfect, but, you know, that's yeah, what I think. Yeah, I think it's also one of those things that you've kind of got to perform. It's a bit like, it's a bit like um, equivocate. Mm. If, you hesit if you're hesitant and don't make it sound like that was exactly what was meant to happen. Yeah, it can um, be a bit... Then you can sort of blow flowery, out and it makes yeah. it, You don't want to be... You know, whirling too much around in your head, or, or you know, Dobbo's dollar comes with uh, um, a tequila hustle type. Does it? Yes, it does. Cool. Yes, it well. does. I mean, Dobbo's dollar. Dobbo's dollar. I had to get something in from Dietrich. Yeah, surprise. Okay, uh, I remember seeing him at session, uh, Mark Helsden, that is, and he fooled the uh, out of me three times over. Three times over. Yeah. He wow. was kind to you. <laughs> yeah, um, Mark is is fantastic. I've known him for for, for many years, and uh, the stuff he comes up with is just unbelievable. Uh, Jonas, I want to uh, I just want to urge anyone interested in magic to check out the new Academy of Illusions on Facebook. It's managed by J. Scott Berry, Anthony Darkstone, uh, Gino Deville, and to mention just a few. It's a great place for magic. It is muggle friendly as the secret magic stuff is in another lock group. Mm. Please join, spread the word. Okay, brilliant. If you, if you can put, if you can pop yeah, a link you, up. Yeah, if you can get a link up, Jonas, that'd be fantastic. Okay, so we're at the end of the comments. Let's go to our last. Oh, oh, there's this. There's this one. Oh, there you, is this one. You can do that. I don't, I don't know what I've got, what I've got to do. Uh, I don't know. Um, we've got. Let me, let me, let me, let me have a look. Okay, so. so. Well, Mike's uh, uh, filling well, that. So cool. basically, what we have here is we've had a few products in from uh, TCC, and this is the Spirit Fire Clip, uh, which yeah, which is this. So it's a uh, um, it's a stand. It's a stand with a clip on it. Clip on it. So this uh, can be anything. This could be it, anything as long as it's uh, yeah. So uh, I think one of the uh, things in the trailer is a sign. A coin is signed. It's it's um, folded up right. into paper. It's clipped on there. And away you go. Okay. But this is what makes it different right. from other effects. Okay. If I use my magic. <laughs> I took it. <laughs> I've just realised we had it on a really nice mouse mat. I'm not. <laughs> mouse mat? We had it on a really nice close up pad. Uh, and not the prop dog uh, battered one. So, But I got it off and it didn't burn, which was fantastic. I didn't have to catch it. But that's what it does. It's. Um, Blows up your prediction. That is good. It is that great. Is good. I do like it. Uh, we haven't really played with it very much because no. obviously, obviously, we don't want to. You know, uh, you know, we might want to sell this. So uh, there you go. But um, yeah, and it, it comes with some, you know, various different ideas for routines. Obviously, you you can have a playing card in there that can. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, if you if you, you use uh, flash playing cards, flash playing cards, it will change and all that sort of stuff. I mean, um, it's great. You you have it somewhere over, uh, you know, away from you, and you do like a uh, yeah yeah a pose. Yeah, yeah. And it's gone. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. ends up somewhere else. Seance, yeah, the Seance Brilliant mentalism stuff. bloke. So, yeah, he's actually the guy. What's his name? Sorry, I can't remember his name. Conan. Uh, Conan. Conan. He's the guy who did the uh, the time box and uh, 
the slates and, and the stuff. spirit slates. Yeah. Um, so he's obviously I, d I don't know him personally at all, but uh, he's obviously very much uh, into his mentalism and his seance stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's his sort of range that he's bringing out uh, with TCC. But I do like that thing. It's great. It's a great. It's a great little. It's a great little thing. It's a catalyst, isn't it? To yeah. Call something to happen. Well, magic yeah. moment. It's the magic moment. Yeah, and you should you always get magic moments in in your performances. Yeah. So yeah, check that one out. It's called Spirit Fire. How much Trip. is it, Mike? I will tell you. It is. Drum roll. While I look down my list. Eighty-eight ninety-nine. It's not bad, is it? Not bad. Not, not bad. bad at a bit all. Decent electronics. Uh, okay, so um, let's go up a bit further. Uh, Martin Sardison, hello buddy. He says hello sausage faces. <laughs> Hi, <Martin. laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm meant to like all these as well while I'm talking. You are meant to like them. Yeah. We'll do we'll that go, after. We'll go back afterwards. We'll go back afterwards. Um, here's the link to the Academy of Illusions. Thank you, Jonas. Uh, is triple prediction always the same cards? No. 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 And if I mean, I was thinking so it's completely random choice. I, I was quite tempted to almost do a confabulation routine with it, whereas on the cards would be written, um, you know, well... I'll, where are you I'll, going? I'll, I'll, oh, yeah, I won't make up an original plot for confabulation right now, but, yeah, where are you going? How much are you going to spend? Who are you going to go with? You know, and how much are you going to spend? How much are you going to yeah. spend? Go through the cards, and they're the ones that they pick. So you can do absolutely anything. The cards are regular cards. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's great. It is a great little effect, actually. It's one of those things that when we were looking through the shop the other day, and we were looking at stock... And it was one of those things that you said, oh, no, we need to look at that because it, it's good. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing that, um, shall I do that? Oh, God, oh, no, yeah, go on, go on, go on. The, the, uh, this was, this is fantastic. Uh, I love this trick as it's, a you can't, you, can you, I don't know if you, you can't see, you can't see how lit up his face has become. <laughs> now he's going well, to be. Well, it's because it reminds and me did, of did, my Well, you did show it to me, it does look good, I have to say. It, it is, reminds me of my um, childhood. Oh, well, that was a long time ago. It, yeah. That's a good oh, memory you've got there, Mike. We won't go there. So, it's, uh, what's it called? Uh, Die Penetration. Die Penetration. Um, so, it's one of the ones we get... Uh, it's, I mean, it's, I think it's probably billed as almost as a children's trick, but... Uh, what, well, you could do it, it for adults? Me. It fooled me. It does look good. You could do it for adults as well. And the props look fantastic. So, we've got a solid bo block. We've got some solid sheets. You can hold on to them. Okay. So, I'm going to put one in here like so and we're going to take this one and put it in here like so and then we're going to take the block and we're going to put it into there like so watch very carefully here we go I like how that. cool is that that looks I still don't know. I still look quite, I still look quite and then it does work Hold on to that. I still don't know how that works. And then we do it again. It's great, all right? And then there's <laughs> the block. Solid, solid block. This is called diaper. I had this trick. It was a miniature version. Ah, right. And um, and then someone, uh, I can't remember it. I think it was a, a children's entertainer called Roy McKenzie, Uncle Mac. And oh, he yeah. sold me the bigger stage version, but it was all plastic. Right. Um, which was great, but yep. I used to love it. And and you can do it for adults. It is it is mind boggling. Yep. No, no, you know? no. I'm, yeah, and I'm, these are I'm, solid, you know. I'm still, so, I'm still slightly confused. Even, so this even, is, even watching this close up and sort of seeing vaguely possibly how it might work, I still don't know. Still but it's called it. dye penetration. And uh, uh, like I say, this... Uh, you know, it's 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 one of the German. Oh, that won't fit. Uh, it's one of the German um, props, and it, it is so so well made. But I'll take it back and put it on the show. Go back and look after it. Yeah, I think someone will buy it. They will definitely get this. This is great. Uh, David Anderson, uh, I'm hoping so. Die penetration. Here you go. Die uh, penetration. I'm hoping to make my own wand. What can you recommend to use as wand tips? I'm thinking brass in colour, but I'm open to other colours as well. Chrome tip. What for? What, 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 what? Chrome tip. Chrome tip. You get a chrome tip. I'm guessing. I don't know. If I was you, I, I don't off the top of my head. But if you're looking for something that's already would fit on the end of a wand, um, I think you're going to be going around wicks or something and just see if there's something in the plumbing section. <laughs> they don't fit. That, so yeah. Yeah. That, uh, excuse me, sir. What you do? Yeah. Uh, um, which may may or may not work. Um, or you can get some. You, you know, you can get threading. 
uh, tools to, to thread something if you want to screw it on. But uh, yeah, nothing off the top of my head to actually. So Nick Adcock has ordered uh, triple, triple prediction. Triple prediction. Good eye. Well done. And Aki's now growling because someone's walked in. Aki! 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 Uh, you two are like kids in a toy shop while the boss is away. We are. We are. We are. Oh, hello, buddy. Hello. <laughs> hello. All right. We're on a live. Oh, is that downstairs? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. bro. All right. Okay. Oh, and Kieran as well. And Kieran as well. All right. Hello, mate. Uh, so we've had... Aki! Two, two Aki. big celebs of magic coming in. Um, okay. Aki! Yes, we are. We are very much like two kids in a toy shop. That is... That is yeah. It's, it's plain, isn't it? It is plain. Yeah, yeah. Shh. Uh, so Chris Goodness, what's the difference between Phil Plus One and Phil Plus Two? If you pop into the Prop Dog Lounge, Chris, there is a description of all of the different Phil Pluses and um, a link to Dave's performance of the Phil Plus that he does. Um, off the top of my head, I think it's a change from um, the, the name being from Lucy to Andy. I think that's the case. And I think they became quite, uh, and one of them became very American names. Um, rather than the sort of more international names. I don't think Phil so Plus Phil won Plus, at the second phase. I think you could do the second phase, but he okay. wasn't in the instructions, I think, or something okay. like that. Okay. But, so the next one, I think it's the names that are different. Um, yeah, but I'd recommend going to the Prop Dog Lounge and there's a Phil Plus uh, section on there where, you know, Phil Plus, Phil Plus outdone, all, all explained. And, uh, okay, Kevin King says, an overlooked adult stage routine is the Pom Pom Pole, not really for kids. If you have any in stock, it makes a good purchase, or perhaps Prop Dog can make their own version. We have got some coming in. Yeah, yeah, they sell, they do sell very well. Mainly, I, I, I do actually think it's children's performers, isn't it? But um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, there's some great uh, performance from classic magicians as well on YouTube. Uh, Paul Rothman, hi Paul. Hope you're well, buddy. Sorry, just joined. Have you talked about the Eugene Burger book? We have, bud. That was the first thing we talked about, but we can... I'll, uh, I'll give you a quick flash. Just so give you, you a it. quick flash, as they say, in the magic community. So that's this. I, I can tell you it weighs uh, um, one kilogram, 410 uh, grams. It, it's, it's packed full of stuff. It's packed full of stuff. Um, of yeah. Uh, some of it, so some of it's essays um, and interviews with him and about his style of magic and his advice and also there's all of his, a lot of his tricks are in there as well uh, including as I mentioned before his um, one deck ungimmick sympathetic cards which is uh, a trick um, that I quite like that he used to do so that's probably what I'll be looking for um, but yeah that's cool I mean I haven't read it yet because it only came in yesterday uh, but it does look very good okay so uh, we are at quarter past five I think we need to draw to an end is there anything else that we haven't talked about oh uh, no. just to let you know that uh, fiber optics extended is back in stock I think we've got one left now and yep. healed and sealed um, fiber optics extended is 35 pounds or 34.99 healed and still uh, is the yep. second version from uh, theory 11 uh, is 17.95 um, I think we've done. What about? Did you want to mention? Did you want to mention these Morgan dollars? Them oh out? yes! If you look on the site under recent editions, uh, we did get in a set of replica Morgan dollars with an expanded shell, which is yep. great. Uh, so they'll fit on any of the coins that come in the set. Uh, that's by Tango Magic. That is fifty-seven ninety-nine. The price of how many? Morgan, how many? How many Morgan dollars do you get with that? You get four. The price of right, one silver. Yeah, 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 yeah. The price of one silver Morgan dollar. So that's good. Okay. Um, that's good. Are we doing a giveaway? Are we doing a giveaway? Oh, we didn't talk about this. Oh, gosh, yeah. There is one thing we need to talk about. So uh, Dave was uh, hanging around in the uh, workshop and he came across uh, some cutouts of um, phantom, 21st century phantoms. Uh, they're all different sizes here. We've got, we got these ones here. We've got these uh, slightly bigger ones. Um, we've got these. We don't know what they are, so please don't ask us. They're all different characters. Uh, we've got a pack of Charlie Chaplin's. We've got Elvis. We've got so, yeah, and these so, so, so on and so on and Mr. So these Min are slightly different. So these this was when we used to do them. Um, where we used to oh. just to let you know what they are. Right. So these ones are the original ones we used to cut yep. on the actual yep. machine. Okay, but they don't come with the blanks. They're not laser yep. cut. No. These ones are just random celebs yep. from different, there's loads of different ones in there, just random, so 
They're irrelevant. Yeah, so it? what you will have to do, you'll have to get a piece of paper, cut it roughly the same size around the corners. We yep. do do the blank card cut uh, the 200s. They're similar, uh, but not exactly the same. But the no, problem yeah. is... You can't cut them, can you? Those, or be no, no, we can't. They look very slightly different. Yeah. And these ones do have rounded corners, so you probably want to get a, a yeah, yeah. We, won't, we won't be able to yeah. supply you with the blank cards. You'd have to cut them yourself. Uh, and that also goes for the bigger ones. Well, You'll have to get... Some, you you some, just go to the pound shop and buy some. some uh, no, there are no blanks no, in no, right, no, There's no blanks in any of them. And go to the pound shop and get yourself some uh, A4 card and then just cut them up to size. So, we have roughly probably got... I would imagine somewhere in the region of That's 300. You, 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 you can say that, I'm not counting them. Yep. Or 400, I don't know. There, there's, there's loads. I mean, you've got all these packs here, you've got this here, you've got these here. Some of them need to be pushed out, you know, like yep. that. Uh, so you're going to have to, well, I've done that one for you. Um, and uh, there's some of uh, Frozen here, and they're all different ones. So, what we've decided to do. Is the first person that oh, it's, it's, it's got to be a bargain, isn't it? It's going to be a bargain. It's going to be a bargain. The first person that writes, what do they write? Hundred. That writes. Hold on, I've got to say go. But the first person that writes a hundred <laughs> can have them for twenty-five quid. The first person that writes a hundred can have the whole lot. For 25 quid, and if I get the sack, so be it. I can't believe you did that. I, I can't believe you did that. Okay, so I'm gonna write go now. This is not a giveaway. Uh, Roy, you're <laughs> too early, buddy. Oh, that's cruel. That's no, I cruel. did say go after I've written go. Adam Evans has got it. That is okay. That is, that is so sorry, Roy, you was a bit premature. I did say I was gonna say go first. So, Adam, email us in. Uh, with your details, we'll send you a PayPal request and we'll whack that right. all in the So post. guys, you can stop now. We've only got yeah, the one yeah. lot to give away. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's it only was that a one-off. One. Stop now, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I spelled that wrong. Never mind, don't mind. Okay, don't mind. Got the, got okay, the... um, right, so let's just do a quick giveaway and then we can... Um... Yep, so we'll just do a quick giveaway. So Mike, if you just tell me when to say stop now and uh, we'll... No. No, no, we got... we got to do it properly, have we? We've got to do it properly. Well, we've got all this down here. Yeah. Let's pack this all up. Let's just, let's just, we, can do, we can do it with the big deck, come on. All right, okay. So what do you want me to do? Uh, should, we, should, we, should we ask if one of our uh, customers... Well, uh, should we give away two? Can you each... Would you, would you mind helping us here, guys? Would you select a card? Just select a card for us you for a giveaway. No. You can, you can, say, you can you say no if you want say no. to. If they've seen the bottom card, give them a cut, because they've seen the bottom card. All right, okay. There you go. Okay, and it, fantastic. Right. Don't, don't, don't show, don't show, don't show. Put them down there. Put them down there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so two random customers <laughs> have come into the store and they picked two cards. Um, they've, already, they've already started guessing. Uh, yeah, we haven't said go. Come on, guys. I'm going to write go, and then you've got a minute to post your cards, the cards that you think these are. Here we go. The go has gone. Give it a few seconds, there's a bit of a delay, and it's up. Right. So, we'll give you a minute starting now. Do you want to do a dance or something? No, 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 no. let's pop up, pop up. There, might be, there might have been some more questions. I thought I saw a few more questions. Um, um, it's going to take me a minute to find them. I know. Uh, where's the, oh, come on. It doesn't work on glass, does it? Uh, any questions, there's lots of goes. Let's uh, go down 100. Roy no. Brandlow says I was straight after go. Well, we'll look into that because there is it's, a delay on this thing. It end. has to be what we see. It has to be what Roy, we otherwise see. we can't guess what everyone else is seeing. Uh, and, and I can put a screenshot up, guys. Roy, you were just before the go, I'm afraid, mate. Uh, do you know where you can get real Morgan there Dollars? You go. We, we can get them. Uh, if you're interested in uh, real Morgan Dollars, um, pop us an email and uh, we can let you know the price, etc. and we can actually get them in for you. I would, go to, would you not go to eBay? You can go to eBay as well. I mean, I mean, they're eBay's silver, the so they, you pay the price yeah. of what silver is, yeah. regardless of whether you get it from us or from eBay. And I don't know where you live, Alec, but we've obviously um, around uh, the Covent Garden area. There's the there's a few um, old coin, uh, coin collectors, coin collector yeah. shops um, and stamp shops, and they tend to sell them. So yeah, that's where I'd go if I had to. 
So Chris uh, Gillander says that Aki sounded like a motorbike. He did. He was he down did. here growling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he, that's what he does. That's what he does. Okay, so I am going to say stop. And did I do it? It went in, and there we go. So no more cards. Thank you very much. Let me go before you do the reveal. Let me go to my go point, uh, which is ba 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 ba. Yeah, right, okay, so turn it over. The Eight of Diamonds. The Eight of Diamonds. So we're going to look for the Eight of Diamonds. Oh, one. right, okay. And the Six of Diamonds. Yeah, the Six of Diamonds. The Eight of Diamonds and the Six of Diamonds. Those are the two cards. Anyone who is on that card or closest to it will win the prizes. Uh, so we've got a Nine of Diamonds by Andy Foster. Um, uh, seven of diamonds by Frankie. Well, still Andy Lenton. Foster in it. He was first. Uh, yeah. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Ken Dunn. Oh, Ken Dunn. Ken, you have just won yourself a prize, my friend. We are now looking for the six of diamonds or closest to it. Um, two of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Nigel Quinn. Oh, there was a seven of diamonds earlier, actually, which could have been closer. Yeah, to, which uh, could have been closer yeah, to six yeah. of diamonds. Even we, though I was we, talking uh, about that. That was Frankie diamonds. Valenti. So, so Frankie, Frankie, closest at the moment. Closest at the moment. Um, Rob, da, 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 five of spades, eight of hearts, nine of diamonds. Mm, no, no, no six. it looks like it's uh, two of diamonds. So we're okay, going through. Oh, 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 well, what? Oh, oh, there's a four of diamonds. Uh, no, we're going to a four of diamonds, eight of hearts, da, 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 seven, seven of diamonds. Oh, no, no, six, mate. Six. Adrian, Why did you? Well, because uh, it was Adrian. Uh, okay, four Frankie's diamonds. Got Frankie's, got Frankie's got it. Frankie's got it. Frankie's got it. Frankie, you get the other prize. Please go to the uh, the, the picker prize giveaway on the so, website. Basically, if you go to the uh, on the homepage of the products, um, you'll see all the categories. It's right down at the bottom. Choose the product. Drop Dog Facebook Live Giveaways is the category, and it's down there at the bottom. And uh, yeah, choose any product you like. Email in if you haven't. If you fear. I may not recognise your name from your Facebook page, which I do. I've got it's Frank and Ken Dunn, so it's a bit... But, but yeah. So, yeah, if you've got a new address um, that isn't on our system, let us know. But otherwise, I shall send them out um, on Monday. Fantastic. Um, I think we're done. That's it. That's all we've got time for. Guys, I hope you, you've enjoyed it. Uh, yes, half as much as we have. Not half as much as we have. And, uh, yeah, we'll go back to doing some playing and uh, trying to sort yep. you the best magic. So... Take care, have a good weekend. Oh, Dave's going to say something before he goes. It looks like it's a words of wisdom. Hi. Oh, there you go, and that's it. Take care, have a good weekend. Bye. Simple, sweet. Simple.